I have already explained you it is better to work in digital domain as compared to the analog domain especially if I talk about transmission and storage because efficiency and cost is reduced in case of digital. So what we want we want to push most part of our analysis towards the digital side but you already know all the real life signals are analog in nature so how we can process it by using the digital system. That's why I'm going to explain you the whole arrangement, how it actually works. And we will also try to find out the part of this arrangement that we have to study in this course, in this digital electronics course. So at the input, we have the analog interface and also at the output, we have analog interface. I will call this one analog in, analog in and this one analog out analog out and I'm considering every action in this part from starting the start is the measuring of signal and then we convert it to the electrical signal for example if you are measuring temperature of one furnace in the steel plant then definitely you have to introduce the thermocouple in the furnace and you will convert the heat energy or you can say the difference in the temperature to the electrical signal that we call as the transducer in the same way if you are measuring the sound then definitely you have to convert it to the electrical by using the transducer I'm considering that in this and also I'm considering all the manipulations like increasing the amplitude etc and etc and this similarly I'm also considering all the processes that you have to do for making the analog input available to outside world in this now we will especially focus on how to convert this analog signal to digital and then again the digital signal back to analog so let's see what we can do we use analog to digital converters and I will call it a D C where a stands for analog D for digital C for converter and I will use a single arrow because we are having the analog as input now this a D C will provide the digital signals that will go to the digital system for processing and I have shown it by the thick arrow or multiple arrows because this one is multi bit multi bit I will explain you what is bit it is similar to digit in decimal system and uh, we call it bit because we are working in the binary system and this one shows that there are more than one bit that's why I have used thick arrow to represent it now this digital system comes into action what is this digital system you are having one in front of you the computer the computer is the digital system the calculator is the digital system or you can say the watch your watch is also digital system and uh, the measuring the measuring instruments are also the digital system etc and etc so this digital systems task is to manipulate the data and process it according to your need and once it is processed it again has to give it back to the real world and then the output is the multi bit it is then given to the another block that we call as DAC D stands for digital A stands for analog and C stands for converter so this one is the digital to analog converter because the output of this digital system is digital and we cannot give this digital system to the outside world for example if you are walking on a railway platform and you see the time and it shows 1000 one zero 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 so what will you understand what is the time thousand by thousand what what kind of time is this thousand minutes and thousand hours no this is in binary it is actually eight this represents eight in decimal and this one is also eight so it is eight o eight and if I represent it in binary it will look something like this so it is definitely very tough to interpret so we need to convert it in the form that can be understood by everyone so we need DAC digital to analog converter and again it is given back to the analog output so this is how the digital system works and we have to study this part not completely this part we are not going to study computers in this course but this digital system is made of the subsystem so let me write write this thing down the digital the digital system is made of the subsystems the sub 
subsystems and these subsystems are made of modules I'm actually making the hierarchy of the digital system and after modules we have basic units basic units I'm not going much into the basic unit because we don't have the background knowledge to understand this but you can consider the logic gates you can consider the logic gates and the, what is logic gate it is nothing but a concept if I say AND gate is there then there are some inputs and the output is depending upon the logic that we are using and we are using AND as the logic but what actually goes inside the AND gate is the circuit we have the circuits and this circuit is made of the transistors resistors capacitors etc this transistor resistor and capacitor makes the logic gate and depending upon their arrangement a particular logic is set and the input is given and then the output is generated so we have to study this part in the coming lectures we will see how the logic gate works and what are the different logic gates available to us we will also see boolean algebra and there are so many things depending upon this logic gates or the basic units and when we move forward in this course we will study some modules also but we will not study the digital system like computer calculator watch but we will study some modules definitely so this is the outline of the course that you have to study in in the coming presentation so i think this is all for this presentation see you in the next one